okay, see you later. I'm, I'm done with this community. I'm done with this friend. I'm done with this pastor. I'm done with this church. I'm gone. I'm Father Mark Mary with the Franciscan Friars of the Renewal. And this is Ascension Presents. Our relationships are just really fragile. It's really easy for something to happen, for something to be said, and it's done. And it's, and it's over. When I was uh, 20 years old, I spent a year in a rural South African community teaching at a high school, and it was a Zulu church. And this was the one option that people had. Most of them didn't drive. Uh, they didn't have the internet. And so you had your parish, and you had your community, and you had your family. And so if somebody in your community said something that hurt you, like, you couldn't just totally replace, it, for example, your entire friend group with a new friend group. There just, there just wasn't that option. Or if father spoke in a way that you didn't totally like, or he said something that you didn't totally like, you couldn't just now choose a different parish and go there. Like you had to stay there and either internally or in like relationship towards the other, you had to work through it. I think generally speaking, that's actually probably more healthy because it makes you kind of like work through the stuff. And, and, you know, I think for any of us who have been in relationships that have kind of been hurt and then you work through it, when you work through it, it, it comes out even stronger, you know? And so um, the tendency now is, right, like, okay, this friend hurt me, so I'm going to go choose a whole different friend group. And certainly, of course, there is a nuance to this and a balance to this about uh, people who are very kind of hurtful and maybe, you know, it's not healthy to keep them in, in your space. But I think I, I, like you want to like pay attention to this. When something difficult happens, when you have some sort of conflict in, with another, do you immediately just cancel them? Like, do you immediately just be like, okay, like we're done. We just have to be careful about that because what it, what it allows us to do is we just keep running and we keep escaping and we never really like do the work of building deep community and building family. And, and the problem with this is that like, we're just made for that. We're made for deep union. We're made for deep relationship. And if we just keep sort of solving our problems by running from them and replacing these people or these communities, uh, we end up kind of creating a, an atmosphere where uh, that can really lead towards isolation and loneliness. Relationship actually makes us as individuals less fragile. It's kind of like relationship, family, a community where we're seen and known. It's kind of like, if you will, like the packing and the, the foam peanuts and all that sort of stuff that help keep us safe when difficult things happen. So if you don't have that community, you're just much more fragile as life happens. And so my encouragement again to you is just to prayerfully just pay attention to how you're responding to difficulties and then and then like what you're where you're going from there. Um, and I, yeah, you can just replace it with a relationship or you can be like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to interact with people online. Uh, you know, it's just, or I'm just going to check out and play video games or whatever it is. You know, I've had a number of people comment on P on Ascension Presents presenters. They basically said this, yeah, so-and-so said this thing and it's a very small kind of particular thing and I disagree with it. So I'm done with that, that presenter. And I've had, I've heard that multiple times about somebody on a very kind of like, not that big of a thing. And this is kind of what I mean of like the multiple, the, the fragility of relationship and the multiplicity of options towards, if you will, our pastors, our shepherds, our, our um, those, our priests. Um, Cause like, okay, if I don't like what father says, or if I don't like what sister says, or if I don't like what this man or this woman speaker says, I'm just going to go and listen to somebody else. Why that, like why that I think matters here is um, because as a pastor, as a shepherd, as a priest, I want to stay in relationship with people. My desire is to really help people know the Lord, to help people know that there's a place to take their weakness and their vulnerability, um, to really help them grow in their interior life, particularly through my, my personal ministry, through the podcast. And so like when I'm speaking, I just wanna be careful because I realize my relationship with you is quite fragile. And if I say something like strong, on kind of like a lesser important thing, or if I say something strong, like you're not ready to hear, in all likelihood, like our relationship is done. You're never going to come back. You're never going to listen to me. If I'm your pastor, you're going to go choose another church. And so I just have to pick my battles. It can feel like, okay, well, why isn't father saying these hard things? And it's a personal discernment. And sometimes you have to go for it. There are certain things in sort of spiritual direction, in sort of pastoral counseling, in just sort of pastoring where it's like, okay, you know what? Like you may not be ready to hear this and I know our relationship's gonna be at risk, um, but I have to say it. But we don't wanna do that unnecessarily. 
you can say like, I really like this football team and I really don't like that football team or like when it's the Super Bowl. And somebody's like, no, like I'm done. I'm not listening to the father anymore. It's like, okay, it was really my sort of comment about this team or that team worth losing my ability to continue to walk with you and to teach you how to pray and to know the Lord. So that's just something to be aware of. Like, okay, like I think we want to be aware of it because I can just go wherever I want and I can just sort of remove somebody from my life and fill them with somebody new or something new. Like we just want to be aware of that and make sure we don't do that unto a, like an, unto a total radical sort of like sort of isolation. Uh, we're just, we're made, if you will, for community and family. But also just to understand that this is something that your pastors are, are discerning. Um, hopefully they're discerning. Is like, I want to remain in a relationship with you. I want to continue to have, to have you coming back. I want to continue, if you will, to have some influence in your life to bring you more and more to Jesus. But our relationship today in 2024, it's just, it's just fragile. And so I have to handle it with care. And, um, and so I'm just going to be prudent and kind of discerning about what I say, where I say. And I think that's going to be true for a lot of your pastors as, as well. My hope is that you also do the work of not just sort of like, if you will, just like father says one thing you don't like or does one thing you don't like. And you're like, okay, done. I'm like done with you. Like, hopefully we can work through some stuff together. You know what I mean? Um, and, and realize the fragility of relationships, but not just sort of be resigned to it, but kind of like strengthen them through choice. So hopefully that's helpful. Thanks for watching. Remember, we are pilgrims on this earth. So it's pilgrims, poco a poco, little by little. Vamos a year. We're going to make it. Hopefully I didn't offend you and I'll see you next week. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye.